Welcome to Vampire. This is an action adventure game from Don't Nod Entertainment, which are probably best known for being the people behind Life is Strange, but they've made quite a few other games. In fact, although this might seem very out of their wheelhouse, because Vampire is an action adventure game and you know, I, I know them and many other people know them from Life is Strange, which is a, a very non-action, story-focused game. But it's actually not outside of their wheelhouse at all. In fact, the first game that they released as a studio was in 2013. They released Remember Me, which was also an action-adventure game. It's interesting to look at where this fits in with the trajectory of Don't Nod as a company. So the first game was Remember Me in 2013. It was aspiring to be a, a big, flashy AAA game. But, of course, at the time, they weren't all that big of a company, and unfortunately, the game was a, a bit of a flop. It didn't sell all that well. And so after that, they decided to focus on something much smaller and, and easier to work on and more available to their resources, which is Life is Strange. And, of course, that took off and became super popular, which seems to have really bolstered them and, and given them the, uh, the money and the funding that they need to expand and become quite a lot larger. Now, as of 2018, they employ around 160 people. So I view this vampire as sort of their second attempt at making a big AAA game. I've heard Patrick Klepek from Waypoint talk about vampire and also seen about 10 minutes of footage. And the overall impression I get is that it's a flawed but interesting game. And I think it's something that I'm really going to enjoy. Also worth mentioning that some of these flaws might not be present anymore. It's been patched quite a bit since release. Including within the last week or two, they actually just added selectable difficulty. Let's jump into a new game. Yeah, so this is brand new. You could not select the difficulty when the game is released. Uh, basically an easy mode that focuses on the story, normal, and then a hard mode. Um, I'm just going to go with normal. And as it says, you will not be able to change difficulty mode during your playthrough. In fact, this is a game that focuses very much on having responsibility for your actions and not being able to go back and change things. So anytime you make any decision, you have to stick with it. You can't just freely make saves, and then if you do something and you end up with a result you don't like, you can't just go back to a save or anything like that. You have to stick with the consequences of your actions. So worth keeping in mind. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Glass half empty kind of person. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more.
So I am, of course, a vampire. I love how in the foreground the music is. Sounds like someone's calling for me. Is that an enemy or what? What is that? Thirsty. So thirsty. Jonathan, that's my name. Oh, is this just some helpless civilian? Do I have to just kill them? Ah, I can see their whole, like, vascular system. Well, most of it anyway. Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here! This can't be happening! No, oh, please, stop! I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I... What's all this about? Has it fled? Shit, where'd it go? I think they're gonna teach me combat here, huh? Now, Ooh. Damn, this is like Dark Souls. You left me no choice. Who are you? Stupid beast! Sorry. <laughs> Something kind of humorous about the fact that Jonathan's apologizing after killing everybody. Get their weapons ready! No! Please! Stop! Who are you? Fuck, it's fast! 
I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Huh. Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? W what is this all about? Ah! ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah! of the job. Ah! Ah! Just, just leave me! Ah! 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 The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. It's considered aggravated damage. They will reduce your maximum health. Okay. Okay, so Jonathan, so John, Jonathan has just been turned into a vampire. I've now realized that. They, uh, yeah, they've never been a vampire before. They don't know what the hell they are. I thought everything just seemed so new and surprising to them when they bit Mary and everything just because they were so weak. Maybe they're, like, more primal vampire instincts took over, so they didn't know what they were doing until they had had bit them. But it looks like they really just don't know. I wonder if discovering how we turn into a vampire is going to be something that we do as like part of the main quest. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go. I think there's a I tutorial prompt there, shelter. for a second. For like just a brief second there's a tutorial prompt and I have no idea what it was for. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. So from what I know about the story in this game, I believe there's a play going on in the city and I think this character is, I guess sort of ironically now, a doctor. Taker of life and also giver of life. did this to us, I will find them. Oh god. Did they die from the plague? I think so. Their face looks horrifying. Dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. Watch plus one. It's an odd choice to have the character say things that should just be internal thoughts out loud. I mean, I think it's the second time now that they've said stuff out loud that no one would normally do. They, they just wouldn't normally do that. It's odd. 
alcohol. Fire and Sun, new collectible. Oh, do I show up in mirrors? to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. I guess we can see ourselves in the mirror then. Save him. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Bloody Diary. That could be Bloody Diary or Bloody Diary. 15th of October. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of uh, mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. 16th. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they were digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry's been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. Took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills in the black market. We have no money left. Uh, maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. Also the 19th? Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st of October. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass graves. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky... She refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? I think I see where this is going. I think the plague is sort of a... If not a zombification, then a monstification. Monsterfication? 22nd. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. 
I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd. I could not sleep at all. Peggy spent the whole night scratching at the door asking for my help, begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It would not be long. I pray God it will end soon. 24th. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. I wonder if the plague is at all related to vampirism. Perhaps. Perhaps vampirism has different effects on different people. Some of them it just kills them. Some of them it maybe turns them into, I guess, a creature like that. Where I guess they act more animal-like, panting like a dog, just attacking people and biting them. But obviously, this character isn't quite like that. I mean, they are. They did, of course, bite Mary in the beginning, totally out of their control. So they don't have total control over themselves, but they're not panting like a dog or anything like that. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. <sighs> so be it. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing flesh. Whoa. Evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Okay, so b before I do any of that, Gotta get into the more RPG aspects and stuff. But before that, that is a really cool and, and disturbing and, and memorable scene. Convincing yourself that it's all a nightmare and trying to wake up by shooting yourself. And then you wake up again after, I, I guess, did they, did they temporarily die? I suppose they did, given how dramatically they woke up. Yeah, shooting yourself to wake up and then dying and then coming back to life and you're all covered in blood. And you remember what you just did to yourself. Oh my god. So dramatic. Also, I guess the unknown voice, the person who turned me, they just responded to something that Jonathan said out loud. So there's a connection between the person who made Jonathan a vampire and Jonathan. Connection between Master and the person who's, I don't know, in their thrall or whatever. Okay, so do we have one, one level to spend on something? 
Oh, I can only get the one thing, autophagy. Begin by selecting the available skill, autophagy. 200 healing, cost 10, recovery 3. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Ew. Okay. I guess I'll get it. So you fill it up with your experience points. Almost have enough to get the next level. Oh, that's level 6 required for that one, and I'm level 2. Uh, the vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unweary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. Oh, I can get an aggressive skill. Okay. Claws of Blood Spear or Shadow Mist. So is that the... What? Does that mean it does 250 shadow damage? This is the only one that explicitly says damage. Close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. I see there's a range from close to medium to ranged. These are all ranged. This one has an area, 2 meters. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Hmm. In terms of cost, it's a little bit cheaper than this. And it does a little bit more damage. I'm assuming the 250 is just the type of damage. 250 shadow damage, 220 normal damage, 190 blood damage. You throw a spear made of blood, which can pass through enemies in front of you. Ew. Blood spear. Literally a blood spear. Shadow Mist has a pretty long recovery time. But it does affect an area and do the most damage. Hmm. Let's get Blood Spear. I don't know, that sounds cool. Vampire wields their blood and throws it like a spear. His power can take time to charge, but is deadly effective in medium to long range. It's a powerful supernatural tool for vampires who don't like close combat. If you cannot avoid the Bloodsucker's attack, just try to keep your mouth closed. Oh, is that what it looks like? Oh, that is terrifying in that picture. who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Identify and confront the vampire who created me, reach North Bank. Which, I think this takes me to the map, yeah. That's the North Bank. No, I want to get rid of that. No, stop, stop placing them. There. Oh, uh, we also have a collectible that I didn't read yet. I gotta get used to these menus. Here it is, the lore documentation. The weaknesses of vampires. Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good. Really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch. Prewin leader. So I guess the vampires are called leeches. Or, well, wait, I don't, I guess just the infected, right? The plague? 
are called leeches. So does that mean I'm a leech, or am I something different than that? But yeah, the common term for these... These people, monsters, whatever they are now, is leech. Is that above me? Below me? Oh shit. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! Ooh. My head's spinning. That's a new ability. Can I do it at will? It's locked. Oh. Uh. How do I use my ability? I have it. The blood spear. Used stake. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing right now. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so my main and offhand weapon are down at the bottom left of the screen. I don't know why they say T and G next to them. Pressing those on the keyboard don't do anything. But, yeah, it says the main weapon. Left click. Yes, it is. And right click for the stake. Also, I think the special ability is one or two, but I can't use them because I don't have the blood that I need for it. If you look at the top left of the screen. I don't have any leech points or whatever. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Oh. Oh. Uh, right click to use your stake and inflict stun damage. A stunned enemy can be bitten. Ah, and that'll give me blood points that I can use for my special ability. Die, vermin! Over there! There's one of them vermin! F to bite a stunned enemy. Yep, gives you blood and also refills your health gauge. Okay. Give me your blood. Of course, I just used up all my blood points. Handle part plus one. Oh yeah. I guess that means there's crafting. Oh. 
So that's how you can, like, get... Oh, there's, like, predefined locations that you can teleport to. That's how you get back up to places. Okay. Cool. Aluminum shard. That's how you know this is an RPG. When you pick up common handle parts and aluminum shards. Everything's so dark. Oh, look at that atmosphere in the background. It's just not moving for a second. It's so oppressive. King and country need you. Join the British rank and help the brave lads at the front. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I cannot enter. <laughs> yes. I got that, Jonathan. Thanks. It's locked, all right. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. It's so silly. Nice. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Limehouse Dock. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Vampiric senses. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Oh, that's really cool looking. And it makes some noises get muted, but others don't. For example, the sound of rain mostly disappears in my vampiric senses, but you can still hear the pattering of of water dripping from, like, just dripping from things and then hitting the ground. I don't know if this is the sort of game where I should be looking for bonuses. I guess it is. Oh wait, no. That's the wrong way to do it. We gotta do it all vampire-y and cool. Where has everyone gone? Oh no, I can eat the rats? Poor little plague-carrying babies. I'm not gonna eat them. 
new hideout is available in this district. Check on your map to locate it. Is it the red thing? What's the... Oh, no, it's the... Fe is that a feather and a hammer? Does that mean, like, writing and crafting? That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Turquoise turtle. At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the turquoise turtle. My oh, God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. So, how widespread is this plague? D does this person not know about leeches? Is that not a widespread known thing? Like, maybe they're in the dark about that. And they just think there's a bunch of killers on the loose or something. Obviously, the vampire hunters know. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, uh, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. True. That's good. You'd think they'd close the door, though, and have maybe a, like, you know, knock on the door and we look through the window and verify that you're not someone... Well, either a monster or a murderer with uh, a bloody hatchet in their hands or something. I mean, the door is just open. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. The door's open. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Hmm. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. They didn't perchance introduce themselves as unknown voice? I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Open the window. Uh, yeah, they, they're definitely not in the room anymore. They escaped. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Thanks. Well, I don't need to ask about anyone entering the bar. I already know about that. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. What? 
Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blamed a sewer dog, eh? Yeah, it really sounds like they don't know about the vampires. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. Nonetheless, I, I shall persist, apparently. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. Ah, okay, so there is an epidemic. Like, people know about an epidemic happening. But then I guess the epidemic is related to or probably causing the vampires slash monsters, the leeches, to appear, and that is a thing that people don't know about. They just think there's a bunch of murderers. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I'll leave then. Thank you. Not long ago, this sort of mess would have given me a laugh. <coughs> I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. This is no place for you. Unknown voice. Patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require. Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. Well, I don't think this is the unknown voice that turned me, because they're obviously not a vampire. And who might you be? Unknown. Press for details. Well, apparently they're not unknown. Dr. Edgar Swansea. Six health, some hints, blood quality. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll learn more about that soon. Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... 
I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Track the killer, interrogate the locals. Yeah, this person is not trustworthy at all. Who were they talking to, and why are they lying about it? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to look at Swansea's room.